Welcome to question number seven. In this question we're given two functions f and g and we have to sketch them on separate axes stating the coordinates of the points where the graph meets those coordinate axes. Now in the first graph uh, we've got f is such that x maps onto the natural log of x plus k. k by the way is a constant it's a positive constant, k is greater than 1, and we've got to plot it for x greater than negative k. So start off by drawing our axes in. So we'll have the y-axis. Don't forget to put an arrow at the top and label it y. And we'll do the horizontal x-axis. Again, arrow there and label it. OK, now we're going to plot, or should I say sketch the graph. Now to sketch the graph of the natural log of x plus k, what I'm going to think of first of all is what the graph of the natural log of x is going to look like. And we should know this, this uh, is a very basic graph. It's a graph that essentially approaches the y-axis, okay, and never crosses it. The y-axis is an asymptote and it emerges from here comes up, crosses the x-axis at 1, and carries on like so. So I'm marking that it crosses the x-axis at 1, like so. OK, now let's just grab hold of this graph now. This is the good bit. The graph actually has to move more than one unit, because k is greater than 1, more than one unit to the left. Now because this is one unit, I can expect this point to end up being to the left of the y-axis. So just going to grab hold of the graph and just shift it to the left, more than one unit. So let's just, let's just leave it, say, there. OK? Now, that means that this coordinate now, because it wasn't 1, has been shifted k units, so it is now 1 minus k. 1 minus k is the x-coordinate, and the y-coordinate will be 0. So let's just mark that in, in brackets, like so. 1 minus k is 0. We're also asked to show where it crosses the y-axis, and this will obviously be when x is 0. So putting x equals 0 into the graph of y equals the natural log of x plus k. If x is 0, we're going to get the natural log of k as the y-coordinate. So marking that in, x is 0, and we have the natural log of k. So that's where it intersects the y-axis. And that's essentially a sketch of the graph of the function f of x. We're then asked to sketch G, and so what I'll do is we'll just scroll down a little, leave G on display there. Uh, let's just sketch some axes back in again, and uh, let's put them back in, so the y-axis or so, okay, and then with the x-axis. Not forgetting those arrows on there. OK, now for this one, what I'm going to do is sketch the graph of y, if you like, y equals 2x minus k, which will be a straight line, which will have a gradient of 2 plus 2 and intersect the y-axis at negative k. So let's just do this one in green, say. So we've got a graph a straight line that looks something like this. Okay? And it was cut here at negative k. And also, when x is, oh, I should say, sorry, when y is naught, okay, 2x minus k, if it has to equal 0, would mean that 2x would equal k and x would equal therefore k over 2. So this point here would have coordinates k over 2, k over 2, comma, 0. 
Now that, as I say, is the straight line of y equals 2x. Uh, let's just put it on. y equals 2x minus k. But we're not being asked to draw 2x minus k, but the mod of 2x minus k. So what's that going to look like? Well, what it means is that all the y values okay, cannot be negative. So that means that this part of the straight line gets reflected in the x-axis, so it's going to come up something like this. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll sketch this over the other graph. So what we'll do is we would come down from here, like so, down on top of that graph, till we got to that point there, k upon 2, 0, and then there's a reflection in the x-axis for the next part that's below. So, whoops, something like that. Not perfect. Then we have to mark in this point here, it was negative k, so being reflected, it's going to be at positive k. So that point will be, or have coordinates, naught comma k. Let's just get rid of the green graph. So there we go. And we'll mark in that point again. You may remember it was at half k, or k over 2, comma, 0. And this is the graph of y equals g of x. Just to remind you, this one was the graph of y equals f of x. Okay, so uh, hopefully you've got that, and uh, well done if you did. On to part b, let's just scroll here. We'll just leave part a on there. Now, for part b, we're asked to find or write down the range of f. Now the range of f is clearly seen from the graph here because the values of y extend from way down here down to minus infinity all the way up to infinity. In other words the range of f of x is any real value. So just write that in that the range of f of x range of f of x is f of x is such that it is any real number. Okay, so that's part B and that would have got you one mark if you got that.